Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video, man. I'm chilling out. And I want to talk to y'all about uh, this Remy Ma um, Papu situation. And I had to hop on this tonight. And um, word on the street is that uh, Remy Ma cheated, which is wrong, but then again, it's not. First of all, you should never, a woman should never cheat on her husband. But at the end of the day, you have a lot of guys gotta understand. I had made a video about erectile dysfunction, and um, you know nobody watched. But the reason why I bring that up is that Papoose, word on the street, I ain't gonna be on this long. Word on the street is that Papoose had erectile dysfunction, and I just feel like at the end of the day, man, like. Um, Ain't no woman, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how much cars you got. I don't care what, what, whether are you or if you're an athlete or a rapper. No woman is going to stay with you if you can't stay up in a bedroom. And I just, I just want to make that known that, you know, Papoose got to understand what he has to understand, right, is that what you won't do for your woman, somebody else will. You know, that's why um, that's why you have, have to uh, take care of your body for as make sure that you eat enough fruits, drink enough water because if we don't take care of your body the blood the blood, blood flow is very important when it comes to erectile dysfunction. And talk to your doctor about the options that you have. Because a lot of men don't want to talk about this. And this is the real reason why a lot of divorces happen. This is the real reason why a lot of women get a lot of animosity. Because they're not being fulfilled. I know she loves Papoose. And Papoose loves her. I hope they work this thing out. But Papoose got to understand that. And then what I heard is she beat the guy up. I don't know who the guy is, but we're on the street that he beat the guy up. Why are you beating the guy up? That, she the one who stepped out. You should be mad at her, not him. You know what I'm saying? You should check her, not check him. But then again, you can't be mad at him because at the end of the day, you're not fulfilling. You're not taking care of business. And, you know, I see a lot of this with these... Um, these, these red pill guys and at the end of the day you can play tough all you want to they train you to you know be on your purpose they train you to you know accommodate um, to accumulate a lot of wealth and all of this right but if your dick can't get hard you're, a man is virtually useless and I don't care how much money you have yeah, she's going to use you for the money, but eventually, if you can't keep up in the bedroom, your money is not going to matter. And I think Pat Poos need to get his S-H-I-T together. He needs to work on that. If he got to go to the doctor, and I'm not making fun of him or anything. But if, if he want to keep his marriage strong, he has to fulfill Remy. I mean, I don't understand. Why is he having problems with Remy Martin? You're not... You know how fine Remy Ma is. You know how many guys in America would love to hit that? But at the end of the day, I don't really think it's him. I think it's a lot of medical problems. And a lot of men, as they get older, they can't, they can't get it up. And I think a lot of dudes, what they do is, right, they'll go to those gas stations. They get them gas station pills. You know what I'm talking about. We all know what we're talking about, them rhino pills. They last, they, they keep you up, too. Have, I've had so much fun off of those, but I stopped using them because I found out that it affects your kidneys. And you don't want your kidneys to go, to, um, to go behind sex. But it's a real it's a it's a real sad situation that that Remy Ma cheated on her husband, but I can't blame her to some extent. Because at the end of the day, 
you can't fulfill. I've made plenty of videos about this, but no one wants to talk about this. Nobody wants to talk about this issue. That a lot of men in America can't get hard. And we're talking about from doctors and lawyers. And you got to understand that erectile dysfunction can ruin your life. It can ruin... I'm just saying, like, like Papoose need to take care of that. Go to the doctor. If they got to put you on some Levitra or, um, what is it? Viagra or... It's, it, and the thing is, and a lot of guys got, I think a lot of guys got a lot of pride. They feel like, well, I ain't going to the doctor. Don't be ashamed. It's a, I think it's, 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 it's common in men, especially like late 40s, early 50s. You start noticing it. And if you take a lot of blood pressure, that's why when you see me do videos, right, you see me walking. Because I'm trying to get that, that belly down. You know, my mom constantly jokes me about my stomach. But at the end of the day, you know, she said something to me about that today. She said, Dane, your stomach getting big. And I was mad. But at the end of the day, I think she's doing that because she loves me. And I got nothing. I have no hate towards Pat Poos. But come on, Pat. You got to take care of your business in the sheets. Change your life, change your lifestyle. Maybe you, maybe you eating too much salt because a lot of salt, then, you know, it affects the penis. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I know y'all think I'm crazy for talking about this kind of stuff, but it's nothing. And I'll say this: there's nothing in the world more than laying next to a happy woman, a beautiful, happy woman that loves you just as much as you love them. That is totally priceless. But good sex is what's going to keep them there. It ain't about the cause. Good sex is something you can't buy. Attraction, you can't buy that. You get what I'm saying? I ain't going to be on this too much longer. I just, I just think that a lot of guys got a lot of pride when it comes to that. And there's some marriages out here that's suffering because guys can't keep it up, keep, um, get hard. Like, I remember my ex-wife, um, friend, her husband, right, her husband couldn't get it up. And his wife stepped out, right? But they worked it out, right? This was years ago, but what happened was that she told him that either you go to the doctor or get something or I'm gone. So what he did was he went to the doctor and they gave him some Viagra. And he takes like, every time they have sex, he takes like half a pill. And he's ready to go. And, and, and they, they still together and happy. I think Papu should go down that route. And I know this is a wild conversation, but I'm telling you, man, it ain't about, it's about pleasing your woman is, is very important. But these dating coaches don't want to talk about this. These YouTubers don't want to talk about this. They know about it, but they sleep it on the rug. And they want to run out there and go take them gasoline, them, them gas station sex pills and they ruin your kidneys they ruin your liver the stuff is not good for you don't be like papoose <laughs> don't be that guy that can't get it up then you wonder why half of these women are evil because they not getting fulfilled then you wonder why these women married women on dating sites you wonder why they up in the clubs they in the streets they're in the streets because men can't take care of their business. And I heard, when I heard somebody say this, when I heard somebody say that he was a soft in the bedroom, I said, my God, this is, this is becoming a serious problem. But a lot of guys don't want to talk about it. And that's all I got to say. I just, I just hope that Pat Poos get this stuff together. Because Remy is a beautiful woman. Beautiful. 
She, I think she loves, she loves Pap Poos. She loves them. I, I hate to see them go through this. But Pap got to take care of, of his erectile dysfunction, dysfunction because if he don't, their marriage could be over. Tell me what y'all think. I'm out. <laughs>